Hey guys, I wanted to talk about some non-lethal today and a couple different items that I use and let you know what some of the benefits are of carrying uh, something like this with you. Even if you have a CCW, uh, you don't have to do this, but I think it's a good in-between, uh, even if you carry a firearm, and I'm going to explain to you why. First of all, let's talk about what's on the table here. This is the old uh, original Fox Labs. They have a squared now. Uh, I did buy the squared for my dad. It does have the regular pepper spray in it, but it also has a percentage of tear gas in it as well for the squared. This is the original 5.3 uh, formula. And this stuff is still really good. Uh, I see people that get tested with this. So this stuff is very potent. And I use the cone formula, and I'm going to explain to you the difference between cone and stream and tell you the negatives and the positives of each and why I choose the cone. That way, it'll be better for you to decide which stream pattern you want to go with. This DPS, guys, this is a combination of 10% uh, pepper spray and 2% uh, CS, uh, which is tear gas. And this stuff is really potent. I've seen a guy uh, get tested with this. Basically, what they do, guys, is uh, uh, a lot of prisons use this. They have a bigger canister with a hose that connects to the nozzle on the bigger canister. And it makes it to be able to shoot long distance. If a guy will not cooperate in his cell and put his hands out of the door to get cuffed, and he's acting like he's going to fight, uh, no matter where that guy's at inside of the cell, they are taking the larger canister with the little hose that makes it spray far, and they're spraying about a one-second spray of this stuff, and the guy in the cell starts choking, coughing, and then they go in with masks on in the prison, and they are able to get this guy down. Now, I've seen this stuff. I'll try to link the video below. I've seen this used on a guy. I think he was just uh, starting to be a corrections officer. And they put him in a cell and they said, we want you to do everything you can to fight us and to not come out of this door. And they, they hit him with a blast of this. And it ended up being so bad that the guy's just sitting there going, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And like this, this effect lasted for so long. I mean, it's a terrible, when you see this video, you're going to see it's terrible. He's having some kind of problems with breathing. And he was also panicking at the same time. And it was doing something. Uh, to his respiratory, and it just, it looked very painful, and he couldn't open his eyes at all. Even later, when they cleaned him with saline and had everything off of him, they're showing him, they're showing the aftermath even later on, and while they're talking to him, his eyes are still closed after being sprayed with this DPS black label. These are the two-ounce cans, guys, and the reason I got the two-ounce cans is because it's easier to carry, and I had already bought this, and then I got this as well. And one of the reasons I wanted this, believe it or not, is just because you can get this with a built-in clip on it. It's much easier to carry, and it's much more handy that it comes with a clip, and it's quicker to get to. If you get like a holster pouch for this, it can take a little longer. Both of these have this activation, which is the fastest. I don't like the ones that turn to the side and press down. I like the ones where you just flip this little door up. It's on a little hinge, and you come in, and you can spray like that. Now, let's talk about why I prefer the cone over the stream. Now, the negative about the cone is, like I use here, the fog, some call it, is that depending on where the wind's at and the situation, you could get remnants of this coming at you. Okay, so the best thing to do is if you're going to spray this would be to kind of maybe, as soon as you spray just turn and walk away, or maybe even hold your breath a little bit if you think the wind is really blowing on you strong. Uh, as for me, I've sprayed the cone in this uh, before several times in bigger canisters uh, when they expired, and I never had enough blowback outside with the cone spray to affect me. Using it on different targets from different distances, I never had enough to really give me an effect unless I literally walked forward after I sprayed it. If I walk into it, then I will get an effect. Now, if you have the stream spray, you can get a further distance out, but you have to aim better. 
the stream does have kind of a, it kind of gets wide as it goes out, but you have to aim with it. With this stuff, it's like tens of thousands of particles that just blow out in a fog and just engulf the person, kind of their upper body. And even if it doesn't hit them in the eyes, when they breathe this in, they're going to be bent over coughing and gagging and trying to uh, get themselves to feel better at that time. And also, because there's so many particles going at them, even if you're not really right exactly on target, normally it gets in their eyes. And that's what I see from watching testing and seeing people uh, who test this stuff. Yeah. Is I mean, this stuff comes out of here with force, guys. It's like a mini fire extinguisher. Kind of picture that. But it's just a big fog. And it's it's tens of thousands of little particles. And any if anybody is anywhere near the blast that comes out of this, they do end up breathing it in and getting the effects of it. If you hit right on target, it's game over. I'm telling you, it's game over. It's very few people in the population that can get hit with a blast of something as strong as these and just stand there and take it or come in and continue to fight. Now, sometimes it does take the effects a couple seconds to kick in, but I've not seen anybody tested that I've seen anywhere that could take a blast with this and be able to come in and fight when the effects take hold, uh, even if it doesn't really affect them in the first couple seconds. I've never seen anybody out just to be able to brush this off. Maybe if somebody was on some kind of really high potency, high powered drugs, I don't know. But this stuff will bring a big guy to his knees, that's for sure. So that's what that's what I like, guys, is these two. It really doesn't if you wanna if you wanna know my opinion, it really doesn't make a difference to me which one of these I have on me. This DPS though is more convenient with the clip. So I've been having this on me more. And what you can do too if you want, you can keep one in your car handy and you can keep one on your side. Now, if you're just a regular citizen CCW holder, let's talk about some of the benefits of having this while you carry your firearm. One of the biggest benefits of having this, guys, when you carry your firearm is let's say you're out in public, something happens, or somebody gets mad at you on the roadways and they follow you, or who knows what, you're out in public and somebody wants to start a fight. Maybe they've been drinking, maybe they've been drinking, maybe they're on drugs, who knows. Now, if you are two able-bodied persons and one guy comes up to you wanting to fight, drawing your gun is going to be very questionable and you could get into a lot of trouble if you draw that gun when there wasn't cause to. If you're just two similar age people, able-bodied people, and one man is wanting to fight one man or one man is up on you, in your face, cursing at you, you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know what's going to go down. You don't want to brandish that firearm. In most states, you will get a charge for that, just for brandishing the firearm. So this is a go-between. Instead of going 0 to 100 with the firearm, this is going from 0 to 50%. And the reason is, is there is such a lower standard to be able to pull this than there is a firearm. This is non-lethal. If people have asthma, this actually opens you up more. It's a myth that if somebody has asthma, that this will hurt them. It actually opens up their airways. Now, maybe if somebody was really, really an older person, and in that case, why would you need to use pepper spray on somebody that's old and feeble? I don't ever see there would be cause for that. So here's the thing. Even if you're a guy that can fight, you're a decent fighter, you've been in fights in your life, you know how to handle yourself, a lot of times fights end up going to the ground. So if a guy comes up to you and he's in your face, you don't know what's going to happen, and he's wanting to fight you, do you really want to end up on the ground and your shirt moves a little bit and your firearm is showing in an open top holster where that guy could either grab the gun off of you and use it on you, or he could just think that you might grab that gun and he takes the gun from you because he's scared that you'll use it on him. Very, very bad situation to be on the ground rolling around and your gun is going to show. And most people just use a regular open top holster. So if somebody's in your face in your personal space and they're threatening you, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna kick your butt, um, and the guy's just going off just losing bearing and going off like that. 
and you pull something like this, maybe even take a step back and show it, and that guy continues to pursue you at that time and you spray a burst of this, you're not going to have to do much explaining when the police get there. This is non-lethal. It's not going to leave any serious effects. This is not looked at as something like pulling a firearm. Like I said, there's a much lower standard for being able to pull this over a firearm. Also, if two guys approach you and are starting trouble with you, it still is questionable in most states on brandishing a firearm. There again, You'd be able to take two people out very easily with this pepper spray. They would be out of the fight. So wrapping this video up, guys, I just wanted to give you some things to think about. This stuff isn't much money, and it really does work. Look up some videos on YouTube. Like I said, they use this stuff in prisons. There's some mean, tough dudes in there, and it works on them every time. So you might want to try to think on your everyday carry and what role this could have in your life to help you in certain situations. All right, guys, until next time, this is DOF and I am out.